Okay, you are welcome back to Adi Tunes. Without wasting much of your time, we want to go on to 3D logo with a very simple technique and it's going to yield a profitable result for you. Without wasting much of your time, let's swing to action. The first thing we want to do is you click on your rectangle tool and draw a shape like this. Okay, click on the center and just make it a bend like this okay you can give it more okay something like this then you make a copy of this okay having make the copy the next thing you want to do is you bring this bring it here select the two click on your wider so I make it something like this. Okay, the next thing you want to do now is you want to copy this again. So after making the copy, okay, you have it this way. Then you bring it closer like this. Okay. Having something like this, the next thing you want to do is you pick up your ellipse to and draw something like this make an adjustment you can reduce it okay leave it like this make a copy make a copy and okay now here is the where we have the main work to do so you go back to your pen tool now and draw a line across here okay having done that the next thing you want to do you come to your smart field tool. don't make mistakes smart field tool click your smart fit tool and smart fit this place okay having smart fit this place you give it let me just use um okay let me use this or uh, let me give you this color then you smart fit here again give the same color okay now we are done with that the next thing you want to do now is you are going to delete this one this very line here you delete it then you come back to your pen tool again and draw a parallel line here okay now having done that the next thing you want to do is you go back to your smart fill tool and your smart fill here okay let me give it no okay let me give you this okay the next thing you want to do you continue the smart fill you smart fill this place and give it the same color okay having done that you're going to delete this you delete this okay now having done that you pick up your smart tool again and you smart fill this place you can give it this color and you smart fill here give it this color okay now having done this the next one you want to do now is you select here and group it together control G on your keyboard then you apply shadow apply drop shadow just okay it's too much okay yeah so
Sinon, lui. Okay, just adjust the shadow to your taste. Don't forget, then the next thing I want to select everything and remove the outline. Okay, now having everything together like this, you can just group it together. And now I want to place it on a particular background while I delete this. Okay, then I'll double click on rectangle. Okay, having my rectangle, let me put it on red. No, I'm not satisfied. Let me put it on orange. Okay. Let me put it on uh, green. Okay. Let me put it on magenta. Okay. You can just choose any color of your choice for the background. Okay. I think I would love to drop it on this. Yes, let me just drop it on this. Then I'll select this select this and press c on your keyboard to centralize it so the next thing i want to do i want to drop a shadow for this logo to perfect the work okay now you make a copy of it and flip it okay having done that you go to transparency to Okay. Have you done this? You can continue it like this. Okay. So let me try something. Yeah, let me drop this on black. Wow, it's not as expected, but okay. We have this, and at the same time. I have this okay so here is a 3d logo with letter M you can use this for any company for anything you can change the letter M you can do any other thing you like so this will be the end of our tutorial for this evening don't forget to click on notification button to get more of my design and at the same time don't forget to subscribe to my channel for encouragement and at the same time i would love you to drop your comment on comment section for any further encouragement god bless you till we meet in our next video stay blessed and keep practicing